Howdy team, we're still on objective 1.1 for access. In the last video, we created a database and we named it Moss Contacts in our last name. I want to show you how I'm going to go back about finding mine and you need to be able to find yours. I happen to put it on the desktop in our download files. Inside the download files, working in objective 1, I made two folders one folder to hold the video I was working on, and one folder to hold our practice files. Inside that practice file is my Moss Contact underscore Lewis, so my Moss Contact underscore Lewis last name database. We were supposed to close that without exiting access, but I wanted you to see what it would look like when we opened it up. So now we're getting ready for the second part of Objective 1.1, and it's showing us the Welcome to Context Database video. I'm not going to watch it at this time, but you're welcome to if you'd like to. I'm going to put access up in the corner here so you can still see our video objectives. So over here on the right are the objectives that we're supposed to be working on this second time. All right. So I'm going to kind of narrow up my All Access Objects navigation bar. And it says, from the Access Start menu, oh, that's right, this is supposed to be closed. Remember, it asks us to close the contacts without closing the whole Access. From the Access Start menu, start a new page, or from the Backsys view. So I can go to Create. I'm sorry, File, New. And then I can go to blank database. And it says, do the following, but don't start a blank database. Start Northwind 2007. Now, Northwind 2007 is what Microsoft created with the Access Database software to be able to teach it. So it's a huge database that you can use to practice on and learn the ins and outs of database creation, management, design, maintenance, and deployment. So I'm going to go ahead and search Northwind 2007, and it says we could not find that template. What do we need to do now? I went ahead and added the word sample and template in an effort to better search for the Northwind database, and we're still having challenges with it. So I'm going to take out that date, and I'm going to go to Traders and see if Northwind Traders is still available. And try to get you guys a Northwind database um, to work with. All right, team. I went online and Googled it. And apparently, if you type just Northwind, and then hit enter, the Office 365 version will find the Northwind template. If you put sample, the word sample, or the word template, it does not find it. Back when I was using this years ago, it was called Northwind Traders. Um, that was not working either. So Northwind worked for me. There's some other resources out there on Google. Give it a try. We're going to download that template. It says, from the Access Start screen, search the Backstage view for Northwind. Create a database from the template. Name the database Northwind and your last name. So remember on the last objective, 1.1, we went into file name, and we used the name it suggested, and then underscore and your last name. Mine happens to be Lewis. I'm going to come over to the folder here. I'm going to say where I want to put it. See how it wants to default in C documents? I don't want that. I want to go to my desktop, okay, because that's where I'm keeping it. Maybe you're keeping it on a pen drive, or maybe you're keeping it on your C drive. I'm going to go back into Objective 1 and my practice files. Here's my Lewis um, 1 access. Up here's my video. So I'm going to go into 1 access. Here's my Northwind Lewis. And I'm going to say OK. Now remember, that puts a place for it, but it hasn't created it yet. The next thing I need to do is click Create. It downloads the template, and it uploads your Access database. Again, your security software, This, in this case, it's Windows going, are you sure, Windows Defender, that you want to enable this content? And yes, we do. 
Welcome to Northwind Traders Sample Database. Um, the example companies show organizations and products and so forth. We don't really need to log in just yet. What we needed to do was to see that we had the Northwind database and we named it our new name. Over here on the left, notice on my end, the navigation pane that closed. If we come up here to the left hand corner, we can click those little greater than symbols. Some people call it a toggle bar and it will open our all access objects again and let us see what's available in the Northwind Trader template. The last thing it asks us to do is close the Northwind database without exiting access. So that's what we're going to do. We were asked to close the Northwind database, but not exit access. So we go to our file menu and we hit close and that closes the whole database. Individual tables can be closed by um, a red X over here on the right or the tabs, but this kept access open for us and that completed the second part of objective 1.1. Don't forget, do your best.